Immune checkpoint inhibitors, or ICIs, have demonstrated great potential as a less cytotoxic class of immunotherapeutic agents for the treatment of cancer. However, preclinical studies point to the possible impact of the gut microbiome on the overall effectiveness and toxicity profile of ICIs. Consequently, alterations to the gut microbiome induced by factors such as antibiotic exposure can also mediate the outcomes of ICI immunotherapy. However, conclusive evidence from large-scale multicenter studies on this front is still lacking. Recently, a team of researchers conducted a population-level retrospective cohort study at ICES in Ontario, Canada to evaluate the impact of antibiotic exposure prior to starting ICI immunotherapy on the overall survival among patients receiving ICIs. They identified patients receiving ICI therapy between 2012 and 2018 from systemic therapy administration data. To account for antibiotic exposure, the final cohort of patients was narrowed down to 2,737 patients above the age of 65. As the primary outcome measure, the team analyzed overall survival with antibiotic exposure one year and 60 days prior to initiating ICI therapy. The analysis revealed that among patients receiving ICI therapy, any exposure to antibiotics one year before ICI therapy was associated with poorer overall survival. Among the various antibiotic classes, fluoroquinolones were linked with worse survival outcomes for both the 60-day and the one-year exposure window. Furthermore, the duration and dosage of fluoroquinolone were found to influence these outcomes in patients receiving anti-PD-1 drugs and in patients with lung cancer or melanoma. Besides underlining the need to consider prior antibiotic exposure in ICI therapy outcomes, these results suggest that careful selection of antibiotic classes might be required in patients requiring antibiotic treatment. They also suggest that interventions for altering the gut microbiome might help improve ICI immunotherapy survival outcomes. However, future studies are needed to validate these findings and account for other uncontrolled confounders that might influence the outcomes observed.